Sean Evans here from Lift Hills and Thrills. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Ferrari World Abu Dhabi. Wow. What ride do you want to go on first? Formula Rossa. Let's go! <laughs> the world's fastest roller coaster, first ride of the day. You've got Face Pass, which you scan your face when you buy your tickets and scan you through, and hopefully it opens the gate. I'm in! Over here is a giant countdown in the middle of this absolutely beautiful central piece here, which is actually part of a ride called Turbo Track. There's F1 cars literally everywhere for photo ops. Everywhere. Even got little kiddies Ferraris to drive the little ones around. Let's do this! Am I excited? <laughs> yes. We go down this little cattle pen queue line and the train should be right here on the right. <laughs> Everyone has to wear goggles. Rest in peace testicles. You suit me well. Oh my god! That was the most insane! <laughs> so it launches at the start and you're thinking, oh it's not too bad. And then all of a sudden it just kicks up a gear and it just keeps going and going and going. That's worth the trip. Man. That's just worth the trip. That's worth the trip. It was insane. You know a ride's good when it turns into someone from the only way is Essex afterwards. Look at this. Right, so we just got a photo package from Ferrari World. 299 dirhams for all your photos. Comes for about 70 pounds. This place is like a utopia of uh, all things Ferrari. It's beautiful. Everything's very tidy in this country. Not just in here. Everything's very clean. Everything's very well maintained and looked after. And how could I not mention it? Over there, opening in one hour's time, Mission Ferrari. Brand new for 2023, the Dynamics Attraction features an inversion, two inversions even. The world's first sideways drop. The world's first sideways drop, this is a little casual downslide. 5D mega coaster, I can't wait. And you're on it for five minutes, five minutes. And we may just be the first English people, content creators, to actually post a video about it. So that's exciting in itself. Once again, all your stuff goes in the lockers, and I mean all of it. Well, lay on the ride unless you put everything away. <laughs> so, Turbo Track, it was okay. It's a very simple ride, but the best the highlight of it is that spike going up, and you can look down into the lovely little funnel. Flying Aces is up next. Yes, that ride that we were discussing in yesterday's travel vlog when we walked to the Yasmo. What a queue line. Well, you have these mysterious doors that open and you're into the station building. Very nice. Look at this. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Here we go. flying aces very whippy bit of a rattle like you said yeah it's got the line period rattle yes that queue line is fantastic do you think the queue line is fantastic it's like an overly long queue line for the sake of look at what we can do and uh, boy can they do it <laughs> made in marinello a dark ride about the history and making of ferrari look at them very smart it's at Maranello, where these dreams are made real. So a scale model is made and tested in the wind tunnel in Maranello. The body shell is sent to the paint department, where it's plunged into a series of 11 dip tanks and rotated 360 degrees to provide a series of tough protective layers. The customer can choose from a range of proposed colors or ask for any color he desires nice informative educational although at the end personally if that was me i would have either simulated a race experience or taken you into a gallery and shown a grand finale of a finished ferrari they've definitely got enough of them on display in there it would have been a nice ending to the ride you get them? 
definitely see it's an opening day attraction. It looks that yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Still enjoying it. This is stunning. Dueling coasters. Dueling coasters. Dueling, coasters. Dueling Ferraris. Well, sadly, our dueling coaster is just it's a singular coaster today because it's that quiet. So just the one to race today. It was okay. It was a shoulder basher. Unnecessary launches into very sharp corners. Yeah, for a kid's ride, it's okay. okay. Launches are quite tough for a kid's ride. So. For a kid's ride. Yeah. A speed of magic driving dream. Another indoor dark ride. That was the worst ride we've done so far. You know, glitchy, simulation-based rides. I, them and flying theatres, I just don't understand the, the immersion. It's like, uh, uh. Yeah, not good that. Worst one so far, so far. Well, then you come out into this kind of space and all is forgiven. Theatre and the show we're about to begin. Motion seats, we're basically doing a 4DX show with Ferraris. Yes. That was a violent simulator. Absolutely violent. 4D without the, the leg ticklers in the sense, just the wind and the very violent motion. And I loved how when you jumped in a Formula One car, the gear changes were replicated with vibrations under the seat. I like that. Yeah, it's good. Very good. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, very nice. Uh, Mission Ferrari is open. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh. Uh, uh, Right, we've just done Mission Ferrari. All I'm gonna say is, oh my God. So you're gonna have to check out the separate Mission Ferrari video for the full in-depth review. What are we doing next, mate? We've got two rides, I believe. We've got Flying Theatre, haven't we? That, yeah, Flying Theatre, yeah. I think that's and we all got, the major attractions, isn't it? And we've got to drive the little Autopia-style Ferrari. Oh, yes, forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. Unagi. Right, so just before we do those two attractions, we're just gonna head into the Ferrari store to show you what is most likely going to give me a heart attack with some of these prices. Mission Ferrari mode. Underneath, how much is that? Uh, that's a hundred. A hundred? A hundred dirhams. 22 pounds for a mug. They look great, but what's the damage? 110. Oh my God. That's, it's a nice jumper. <laughs> it was that expensive, Jake's just walked off. <laughs> £296 for that Ferrari jumper. <laughs> That's near enough the same price as one of the Formula 3000 driving experiences outside. The door's just opened and a Ferrari's just rolled, rolled on it. One of the many driving experiences that you can book online ahead of your trip to Ferrari World. They're the simulators that the team uses and these are the simulators that we can use for free. Getting some practice in on the Yas Marina circuit ahead of us uh, actually doing something on it tomorrow. There's a reason why I don't drive. I've, I've only gone and done it. I've become the ultimate little tourist. Look at this. There we go. Look at that. Championi also known as Sean's um, thumbnail. So how much was that ride photo? It was 27 quid, 27 quid. We found a ride that we haven't done. It's a shooting dark ride. And whilst we're out here in Abu Dhabi, the first poster has been revealed for the brand new Alton Towers ride. So the Curse of Alton Manor. John Wardley, I know you're going to do us proud. The spanner is the laser. The spanner is the laser. I didn't think the spanners were very well calibrated, but I thought the nice mixture of projections with the, the actual physical set pieces was nice and great for kids.
Isso é Ferrari? É, Jack. Isso é Ferrari. 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 É bolíssimo Ferrari. Pode ser Ferrari. Gino de Campo. Enzo Ferrari. <laughs> If you wanted to, for an upcharge, you can drive them around the little track just outside. Going for a drive, Jake? Yeah, I'm on my way. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> Imagine Autopia at Disney World, but with Ferraris driving around a lovely little Italy. So, Sean, welcome to your first driving Hello. lesson. Thank you very much. It's about time someone let me on the road with my medical condition. Welcome to Italy, Jake, as a thank you for driving me around Europe. Here's my little treat for you. Keep hands and legs inside the vehicle at all times. On your right here is the town of Portofino, a very beautiful, beautiful town, and also the name of a restaurant local to me. That's Italian food. Bellissimo, very nice. Run by the uh, Romanians, I believe. How is that? <laughs> well, okay, so we're just on our way to Bologna and Pisa, but first we are taking a stop in Ferenzi. Ferenzi, where people speak fluent friends, and everyone is friends with one another. See. Si. Do you know, I'm, I'm more, more stunned that you are pronouncing these towns and cities. I am a quarter Italian. I am uh, almost full Italian. There we I go. I can't read that sign, so we're going for it's... Montesino. Montesino, famous for where Gino de Campo once touched a lady in a wrong place. On the right here is Bologna. Not to be confused with Bolognese or Bolivia. Bologna. Very nice. And we are coming very close to the leaning tower of not Pisa, Pisa. Don't take it, Pisa. That's what my mama used to say. Wow. It's leaning. It is leaning. It's wonderful. There's a lovely smell of glory. There's, there's a lovely smell of glory. If you look on your right, it's got both hands off the wheel there. Bad example. Sorry about that, kids. You'll look at Venezia or Venice, as it's known to us common folk. Famous for its canals and famous for the finale scene in Casino Royale with Daniel Craig. Do you want to know something? Eva Green was uh, crowned in that lovely little Venetian. Do you want to know something though? Yes. There's more canal uh, canals in Birmingham than Venice. Is there really? Yeah. It's Birmingham's claim to fame. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what this tunnel is, so I'm driving into it anyway. It looks very dark and demonic. It does look very dark and demonic. Um, you know what the Italians call that? Naples. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a rattling sound in my Ferrari. You're gonna have to take it to the garage. Like I've got like tin cans strapped to the back. Just We've married. just got married! Just mar What's that sign doing there? Are you gonna pronounce this one as well? Um, this is just a Malfi. Right by the coast, this one. Malfi coast. Oh. Lovely, lovely. Been there before. Beautiful place. And thank you very much for coming along on my Italiano tour. Bellissimo. Arrivederci. The observation deck. That's a very loud lifter. Alright. So now that the sun's going down, what better ride to go on than Formula Rossa? In the dark. Can you tell what ride I've just been on? We're coming to the last few minutes of the day. Well, last 15 to 20 minutes. Yes, we went round again. We had three more rides in, here, in a row, including the last train of the day to end what has been an insane day. Indoors, in a theme park. It's mental. In it's Abu Dhabi. Mental. Highlight of the day, it's got to be that. Yes. Uh, Ride that surprised you the most, Mission Ferrari. Mission Ferrari. I wasn't expecting too much and it delivered. It's so immersive. It's been a fantastic day. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>